I do think that there is a very strong uh, uh, commitment to fairness in amongst British people. The one thing they don't like more than anything else is things being unfair. And I think John's uh, point about actually grammar schools on, you know, the way that the way that the proponents of grammar school argue is they say, you know, these are very good schools for the best and brightest of our children. Uh, there is quite a lot of research which actually shows that, as John said, disproportionately, the children in grammar school are the ones whose parents can afford to pay for the coaching. When I, when I went to, um, when I took my daughter to, we, we moved from Yorkshire to London when she was 10 and she went from a fully comprehensive system to Kingston and Kingston has grammar schools. Um, uh, and uh, I remember her taking her when she was starting year five in September to her new school, just around the corner from our house and uh, dropped her off. I went away, you know, crying. She went into school crying. We were both, you know, was she going to be okay going to this new school at this time? And as I was leaving, um, four, four women stopped me separately, two together and two separately and said, oh, we know that you're just starting the school. Do you want the uh, telephone numbers of the, um, the, the, the coaches who can coach her in the Farhad 11 plus? And when I said, well, no, I don't want that because she won't be doing the 11 plus, um, they were just utterly astounded that my daughter would not be doing the 11 plus. They were astounded by it. And um, one of them actually said to me, I know prizes are very, very expensive. I said, they are very expensive. They are. But that's not the reason why I'm not, she's not doing the 11 plus. So I do think that, um, and there has been some research on this, how much you have to pay to get into the coaching and that how, how severely the kids are coached. And then what many teachers in grammar schools will tell you is actually there are many children in grammar schools who come along and who for whom that education is completely um, unviable because they've been overcoached. And the second argument, which I think is powerful, is not just that the wrong pupils get in, if you can say the right and wrong pupils, but wrong in relation to that level plus test, is that in areas where there are grammar schools, and it's something that follows on from what John said as well, the gap between um, those who've gone to, you know, those who go to grammar schools and those who don't, the, the wage differential in those areas is greater than in other areas of the comprehensive intake. So, so that, that differential lasts throughout life. It's those sorts of arguments that we need to make. It's not the brightest and the best who will get the 11 plus. And the effects of this segregation are lifelong.